I'm I'm so tired from the festival still. I don't know. I must be getting old. I remember I think it was maybe 2009. I went to five or six festivals in a row with a friend and I, I went to one now and I'm completely trashed. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you about the festival because it was pretty awesome. As you might have heard, the weather was terrible. Terrible. I went there Wednesday and Wednesday and Thursday was fine. And Thursday night is when the thunderstorm started and when the, it was just, it was pouring down. I, will, I, I tried to sleep in the car. It was too loud to sleep because the rain was so loud on the car roof. A lot of people left the campground early because the tents were just swimming away, basically. We were pretty lucky with the tiny house I built. It kept us dry and warm and safe, although every gig on Saturday got cancelled, which were most of the bands that I really wanted to see, like Frank Turner, Dropkick Murphys, The Prodigy, stuff like that. I think this was one of the best festivals I've been to because it was very different, very exciting. I am also super happy with the video and with the project itself. I think that's mainly because there were a million situations where it would have been so easy to just drop the project and skip it altogether. Um, but I didn't. And I think I'm pretty proud about that because everything worked out even though the circumstances were not the best and nothing was really ideal to finish this and still it worked. And that is nice. <laughs> So I went to a Frank Turner concert yesterday and in the song Peggy sang the blues, he says, no one gets remembered for things they didn't do. And I think that is such a cool, motivating sentence. It's not necessarily about what the others remember you for. The, the sentence might as well be, you won't remember the things that you didn't do. It's the same thing. Like, it is so easy to have ideas and everybody has ideas and everybody has dreams and everybody makes plans and thinks of some cool stuff they could do someday. The trick is, or the hard part is to really do it. And that's what you gotta do, I think. And the, the further away this is from your comfort zone, the cooler the project probably is and the cooler the video will be or the pictures or the experience. So I knew that before, but I learned my own lesson again. This is where the magic happens. Like leave your comfort zone um, and just do what you think would be cool to do. It was awesome. It was really awesome. If I wasn't so tired, I'd probably be jumping up and down all day because today is the day where my make video gets released. I hope you guys will all check it out. I'm very excited. <laughs> And other than that, oh yeah, I want to I want to address something. I get so many requests for stickers, either to swap them or to just send them out to people. And I did that a couple of weeks, a month ago, but it's just, it's getting too much. I cannot do it anymore. Um, so guys, sorry, but like, I don't have the time and it's taken up too much money to send out all the stickers all over the world. I'm sorry, I hope you understand. If someday ever my website will be online, there will be an online store where you can buy them. Or if you meet me somewhere, just ask me for a sticker. I mo most of the time I have stickers with me. So that's right now the only way to, to get a sticker. I'm really sorry, but I'm sure you understand. As you know, the festival video was uh, sponsored by GMC. They sent me the tools. And so far I'm pretty impressed. The batteries lasted really long. I didn't need to recharge. And the tools in general seem to be pretty robust. They were lying in the dirt and in the rain all weekend. And so far, nothing happened. Like they, they still work like a champion. So I'm looking forward to test these things a bit more. I am especially excited about the battery powered circular saw. I think I will put it in my car so I can take it with me any, anywhere I go. So in case you find something on the side of the road that's a bit too big to take with you in the car, you can just chop it into pieces. Um, I think that will be a pretty useful thing to, to have with you. All right, moving on to... The Heavy, Hurt and the Merciless. Uh, the Heavy is another band from England. 
I just discovered them because they were supposed to play on the Hurricane Festival, but their gig got cancelled as well. But not due to the rain, but because they missed their plane. So, as I said, I missed almost every band that I wanted to see. Anyways, this band is new to me as well, but I instantly liked them. I think they had one hit a couple years ago called How You Like Me Now. Um, that was featured in a couple of movies, so the voice might sound familiar. Tracks I would recommend to check out first would be Not The One, Mean Old Man, A Ghost You Can't Forget. Have fun with the record. I will put the tracks in my Spotify Record of the Week playlist, so if you want to listen to them, check that out. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I think that was it. I think that was it. I still have no idea what I'm gonna do for Sunday's video. I will try to make a smaller project because as I said, I am super tired and worn out. Um, I will try to make this a one day build. Guys, thanks for watching. I see you next week. Uh, oh, I, hope you, I hope you like the make video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I will stop talking about this now. Okay, see you next week, bye.